Here it is, September 7th, very hot day, 95 degrees. Check out what this poor plant is going through. The excessively dry conditions are obviously causing wilt in these plants. Let's check out this one in particular. This is a butternut squash growing at the very end of the vine in my patio. There's the maturing squash right there. Let's trace this thing back to its origin. Here's the vine coming along. Then we cross under this pumpkin vine. We follow the butternut squash along the patio. All the leaves on this portion have dried out, but that doesn't mean the stalk is dead. There's another squash on the same vine. And yet another squash. We go down the steps. The vine's looking fairly green again. And we come down into the uh, garden bed where the squash vine originates. We know how the squash vine, or any plant for that matter, conducts water up through the stem and to the leaves. That's pretty clear. But what is very curious is how does the squash plant direct water into the developing fruit? There are no pumps that will pump water into that fruit. So try and figure that one out. So if you're looking for a little bit of extra credit, why don't you come up with some kind of talking video that explains to me exactly how it is that the water from the squash vine can get into the squash fruit. Yeah, that'd be good.